So the first thing I have is, you dropped your sooner. It smells like the beach. And that's French. It's hard to do this with one hand and hold monkey in the other hand. Excuse, you the bird, excuse you. Ugh, sorry about the lighting, this is brutal. The lighting is really bad, but it's winter in Canada. It gets pitch black dark at like four o'clock, so I have to make do with what I have. I'm sorry guys. This is my overflowing bag. It's ridiculous how, how much stuff is in here. Um, I got this bag from the Sephora VIB Rouge 20% off sale. So now that I've organized everything, hopefully I can tell you really quickly at the end of this video what I picked up from that sale because it was really exciting. So we're going to jump in and do this really quick. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are these two right here and the shampoo and conditioner. These are the Aussie Moist. These are really, really cheap at Walmart. They're about $5 each and I just picked up another one for my girls. They use them too and they're on sale for like $4 each. So the next one I have is three deodorants. Um, it's just the degree dry protection and the shower clean. They're all the same. I had this one in my purse over the summer and this one's really good. I love the shower clean scent and I'll probably continue to repurchase these ones. Next up is a dry shampoo. This is the Tresemme Fresh Start Basic Care Dry Shampoo. This one's for dry and brittle hair, so it has uh, vitamin B12 in it. I really, really like this one. I've purchased a few different, or a few cans of this one. I've been getting it at Target for, I think around $3, so it's a lot cheaper than the Baptiste. Next one is a foundation. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages, Ageless, uh, number 205, which is just um, ivory. And this one has an SPF of 22 in it, pretty high SPF. So that's what's left. I've used this in a couple of videos. I think I had it in a monthly favorite. So I've been out for a while. And then on this side, there's usually a sponge, but I lost the sponge somehow. Um, I did actually go to repurchase this and realized it was about $17 at Target, which I thought was pretty expensive for a drugstore foundation. I don't remember it being that much when I got it in the summer. I did really like it. I went through it pretty fast because I used it all the time. Um, the little white ribbon here is like a moisture ribbon and I felt really nice and moisturizing. I do have very dry skin so any extra moisture is great and it was just really quick to put on. Um, so, so far I haven't repurchased it. I probably won't especially if it's at almost a $20 price point. I think that's too much for a drugstore. Next one I have is a shaving cream. This is just the Gillette Satin Care in Passionista Fruit. I really like the smell of this one and it's shaving cream, whatever. Next up I have two of my Garnier uh, Nourishing Cleansing Oils. I, I love this stuff. It's kind of hard to find. I can only find it at Walmart and usually the Walmart I go to or the one that's close to me will have one bottle or they'll be sold out and when, sometimes they go on sale for like five dollars and I try to stock up but these are so good I've tried a few other cleansing products but it says it dissolves impurities and makeup and it really really does just dissolve all of the makeup and then leaves your skin feeling really soft and moisturized I love this stuff okay next I have two concealers the first one is the Maybelline instant age rewind uh, eraser dark circle in I think it's just fair in fair so I didn't completely use it up but this one's pretty old I've had this one for a while and I thought it'd probably be time just to get rid of it I haven't repurchased it I probably won't repurchase it because I don't like the sponge there's a lot of complaints about the sponge and I agree I don't like it and then this one is the NARS radiant cream concealer in light one or Chant I think it's Chantilly I love this stuff this is so good I'm really sad that I'm out. Um, I wish it wasn't so expensive because <laughs> I would just go out and get another one for sure. But I am trying a few different drugstore concealers. See if there's a dupe for this, but I might break down and get this in a few months because I really, really like it. It's the next one I have, um, I have two mascaras. One is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. I love this stuff. I've gone through a lot of tubes 
and I haven't repurchased it yet. I'm going through some other drugstore mascaras, but I really, really do like this one. It's probably my favorite drugstore mascara. And then the other one is the L'Oreal. I think this is L'Oreal. Yeah, this one's the, vol the vol Voluminous, third time, Voluminous Miss Magna. And I don't like this. I used it up, but I didn't like the effect that it gave. It's supposed to give you like that, the doll lash type look. You know, it kind of clumps them together and then makes them spiky. And I tried it, but I don't like it. Oh, I have another Garnier oil. So I have three oils in total. Next one are some moisturizers. These are the Nivea. Uh, this was the day, daycare, day moisturizer. And then this one's the night. So the daycare is for normal skin, which I don't have. I have very dry skin, but I couldn't find anything that had like sensitive or dry. And then the night care was for sensitive, sensitive skin, and it's supposed to be really good for, for dry skin. So it helps with redness, tightness, and dryness. And this one's just kind of like your basic whatever. So I used the day cream completely. It's, it's gone. I only used a little bit of the night cream because it's gross. It's nasty. It's like putting Vaseline on your face. It's very thick and waxy. Ugh. Smells weird. It was terrible. And I'm pretty sure it broke me out. Like, I had some pretty bad breakouts for a while. So I used the day cream day and night. I just put extra on at night. So next up is two box dyes. This was the one I did first. So this was right before Ava was born, right before the baby was born. And this is the nice and easy, natural, deep brown. Um, it didn't last very long. It grew out and faded really, really fast. So it was okay. It did what I wanted it to do, but it wasn't great. So how long was it? It wasn't very long. It was maybe a month after I did this one, I picked up another one. And this was the Garnier Nutrice. Uh, this was the mousse. I don't pref like I don't like the mousse as much as the liquid. I make a mess regardless. I stain my face and make a huge mess, but the color was definitely better in this one. It's called Iced Mahogany Dark Brown, and it went really, really, really dark, like black at first, and then it's just been fading, and my natural red has been coming through. Four Bath and Body Works body washes to talk about. The first one is... Oh, I can't say this one. Awa I think it's Oahu. Oh, sorry. This one's Coconut Sunset. And then this one is Cool Coconut Surf. And then, oh, that one's still open. This one is Sunset by the Pool. And Maui. So Maui and Sunset by the Pool are my favorite. Um, they're very floral. These body washes are great. They're very moisturizing. They have... They all have shea and vitamin E in them, so they leave your skin feeling nice and clean and nice and moisturized. You don't get out feeling dry, even in this really crappy, cold, dark weather. I hate winter. Still feel moisturizing and good. And then I like bubble baths. I take a lot of bubble baths. And these foam up really, really nicely for bubble baths. So I got the four, these four, when Bath and Body Works had their, I think it was like a sem semi-annual clearance. When was that? Like July? Or on July, I think. June or July. I don't even remember. I was pregnant. It was a long time ago. And they were on for like $6 or 4 for 15 or something like that. So I grabbed a bunch of them and got a couple of body sprays too. And I ended up using all four of them up pretty much at the same time. So eyeliners to talk about. The first one is getting really dirty and gross. The Kat Von D, what is it, Kat Von D Liquid Trooper, no, Liquid Tattoo Liner in Trooper. There we go. Oh, I actually ran out the day before Halloween and then went to use it Halloween, like grabbed for it and forgot I didn't have it. What are you going to do without a black eyeliner on Halloween of all times? So I did pick up another one. I will continue to repurchase this. It's great stuff. And then the other eyeliner I have is the uh, L'Oreal Lacquer Liner 24 Hour uh, in Blackest Black. I've had this thing for years. So there's still some left. 
as you can tell, but it's pretty dry and just kind of hard to work with. And like I said, I've had it for a really, really long time. So up are a couple of face products. So the first one is my Ocean Salt Scrub from Lush. I just picked one up today, like a couple of hours ago. This stuff is so good. I've talked about it before in a few other videos. It's one of those products that you either love or you hate, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. This is my fourth, so I just picked up my fifth can, or not can, what are they, bucket? No, pot, huh, bucket. So bring back five empty pots and you get a free, get a free mask. I don't know. And then the next one is a clean and clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. <laughs> it's really good. It actually, it says it starts working in, in four hours. Um, I don't, I've never timed it, so I don't know. But if you feel something coming up or you can see something starting to happen, put this on and it's supposed to help like right away. It does have salicylic acid. I have a hard time saying that. And then I have an Anastasia. I always want to say Anastasia. Uh, Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Auburn. So I had this when I had my red hair. I recently picked up another Brow Wiz in a darker tone, I think it's dark brown or something, to go with my darker hair. So the last few things in here are baby products. And baby, I don't know, baby products are fun to talk about. So I have, I have four of these bum creams, these little bum cream things here. And I think it's Penitin. They make some really good products. They make diaper rash creams and diaper rash prevention creams. What else do they do? They make a few. They have a good line. And that's what this is. It's non-medicated. Um, it's a moisture repellent barrier. It's, oh, it's fragrance-free, allergy-tested, hypoallergenic, preservative-free, non-irritating, and has vitamin E in it. Vaseline, but better. And we put this on, on Ava's bum, obviously during a diaper change, and then just some powder on top and it's really helped to prevent diaper rashes. Um, my older three girls, they got diaper rashes. They Mostly when they're teething, that's pretty common. My oldest, Abby, was preemie and she was very prone to diaper rashes and I wish I knew, well it says new product. They probably didn't have it back then, <laughs> but I wish I had used it or known about it if it was around for them because it probably would have helped. Ava is almost three months She's two and a half months right now and knock on wood, she has yet to have any redness or anything, anything diaper rash related. Um, sometimes no matter how many times you change a diaper, like how often you keep them dry and change a diaper and go through all those preventative measures, they'll still get a diaper rash, they'll still get red, it happens. But this stuff has really, really helped. We go through it fast, obviously I have four here, I have two on her change table already, and one in the diaper bag. So this stuff is good. And they're only about $5. They're not too expensive, which is nice when you use them a lot. Obviously, new baby, you're gonna be changing a lot of diapers. Um, and <laughs> this might be a little TMI, but for any moms out there, or new moms, or anybody changing diapers, these are really good for poopy diapers. So they help clean things a lot faster because it's like a almost like a lotion for their bum so sometimes their poop can be really sticky and hard to get off and I don't know I find that this just makes it easier to get everything off and get it clean and then the last items in my huge bag here are more baby products these are baby powders they're the Johnson's well, this is pure cornstarch baby powder. This is the lavender, oh my gosh, lavender and chamomile um, scent. There's like the regular powder. I think there's three, three or four different kinds. And I love the lavender one. I found this with, I think, Anna, my second youngest. And we went through two already. Wow. We went through two. And then there's one on her change table. So change a lot of diapers, like I said. All right, so that is it for my beautiful Sephora bag. So quickly, I'll share with you guys what I got at the VIB, VIB Rouge 20% off sale. It was, it was a while ago now, 
Um, I just haven't had had a chance to film anything. But the first thing I got is one of these Buxom lip glosses. They are the Full On Lip Polish. Um, shimmering Pout Plumping Shine Refreshing Tingle. And I got it in the shade Ava because my new baby, my new baby, her name is Evangeline. And we call her Ava. So I thought that was cute. So you can see it, hopefully, you can see it right there. I've never had anything that does the whole tingle, plumping kind of thing. It's not bad. It feels kind of weird at first, but I like this on top of some different lipsticks. It's okay alone, but I like it on top of lipsticks. It does have a really nice sparkly shine to it. Um, I mostly got it because it was called Ava, and I just, I, I had to. The next thing I got was two perfumes. I just got the little like roller ball, roller ball type. The first one is Juicy Couture. Um, perfume is just so expensive, like even with 20% off. It's crazy how expensive it is. So, you know, $30 for this plus the 20% off, it, it makes it a little bit better. It smells really good. And this one I got is Juicy Premier. I was actually smelling this one in the full size bottle. The packaging is really pretty. So it's the little box with like the Juicy logo on it. And then you open it up and without dropping it comes the bottle. This one is a spray. Mmm, it smells really good. This one is a spray, which I like. And oh, I've actually used a pretty good amount. So Juicy always smells really good. It always smells like fancy and I don't know. And then the next item, or I guess the last one I got, this is really exciting. I got the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. And it says that's what pretty girls are made of at the bottom, which I think is really cute. So this thing is pretty big, but there's so much in here. So you open it up, it has a really nice like magnetic closure. You open it up and oh see if I can do this. <laughs> Turn it around, and this is everything you get. These shadows are actually pretty big, like they're a good size. So the top is all shadows, and then the bottom you have two blushes, a bronzer, and what I guess is supposed to be a highlighter, but it's really sparkly. And then you have three brushes, and then behind the brushes is a little pamphlet of ideas of different looks. With the shadows, you have a really good range of it up there of mattes and frosties and sparklies <laughs> frosties and sparklies a lot of really different a lot of really good different colors so today I'm wearing this shiny happy right here on the lid it's so dark you probably won't be able to see it in here um, and then I have this fond about you color up here in the crease and then this too glam this really dark uh, Red. It's really dark green out here um, in the outer portion and underneath and kind of smoked it out. And then we've got a pink blush and a peach blush. And then this is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I have in milk chocolate. I have the lighter version. Um, I've used that in a few videos and a couple of favorites. I love it. This is the darker one. So I like this one better for contouring. Also came with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, just the little version. I've had this little sample size before, and I'm not a fan. I don't think it does anything super exciting, but got a free mascara in there, so why not? But really, even with the brushes, this is all you need. Like, you can throw the mascara in here, and then just, now I can't open it. And then just take that traveling, you've got neutrals, you have fun shades, you have mattes in here, you have blushes, a bronzer, brushes, like, this thing's great. Okay, so that is everything. That's all my empties and my reviews on my empties and what I did pick up from the VIB sale. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up or you can subscribe and then catch up on all my new videos. I'm hoping to get onto a schedule, a much better schedule. Things have been really, really, really crazy and really busy, but they're starting to fall into plan and into schedule and we're figuring it out but yeah leave me any comments and questions and that's it for now so we'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching